So you're struggling to beat Balteus and you just can't figure out how to beat him, he's just way too hard, too many missiles, all that good stuff. Well, just run this build and uh, the boss will be yours in no time. Well, that and, you know, a, a little bit of advice as well. Oh my, it still hit me! Oh my god, dude, the lingering hitbox killed me as I was going back in to melee him. Ah, this boss, bro. This build is the Ball Buster. Sorry, uh, the Balteus Buster. It is a build that does tons of energy damage, so we're going to take down Balteus' shields really easy and quickly. We're relying mainly on these two pulse missile systems. They have really fast lock-on, and they uh, never, basically never miss, and they do a good amount of damage as well. So they're going to help you take down his shield, and then they're going to uh, you know, let you punish him uh, pretty consistently. The name of the game in fighting Balteus is getting his shield down and then punishing him. Uh, so that uh, is going to be aided by using this bubble gun. Oh, I love this bubble gun. So cute. Uh, yeah, it's just a rapid fire energy weapon that uh, will absolutely shred his sh shield. Uh, you want to time it so that you'll be shooting his shield when your pulse missiles hit him at the same time, just to combine all the energy damage and get his shield down. And then we just have your trusty pulse blade here that you're going to use uh, to punish him once uh, once he staggered. Yeah, if you're on PC, all you have to do is plug in this build code and it will give you this exact mech and you'll be off to go. And I have included some footage here of just the quick rundown of the mech parts. Uh, in case you're on PlayStation or Xbox, you can just uh, grab these parts manually. And just a quick reminder, you can sell parts for their full value. So if you sell a part, you just buy it back for the same amount of money. There's no money lost in buying slash selling your parts. So if you don't have the money for these parts, but you just want to get at Balteus, just sell a bunch of your parts and then you can just buy them back later. Like just don't worry about it too much. The other thing that I do want to mention here is uh, you need to be using a uh, hard lock. Uh, I've watched a lot of people play. I've watched a bunch of different videos. I've watched a bunch of Reddit posts saying that he's impossible. I've watched a bunch of TikTok saying he's impossible. And something I noticed commonly among all of them is that they're not using the hard lock feature. So for those of you who don't know, hard lock is a feature that uh, basically uh, when you click in your lock on button and then if you don't move your movement stick, whether you're on, if you're on, you know, if you're on mouse and keyboard, don't move your mouse. If you're on uh, PlayStation or whatever, don't move your right thumbstick. Uh, and it's because if you move those too much, you will break it and you'll lose track of the target. This feature makes Balteus way more simple uh, just because you'll never really lose track of him as he's dodging around and stuff. Uh, the other thing that I highly recommend is using these particular reverse joint uh, legs. So what happens is they give you a lot of horizontal movement back and forth. So if you are using shift or the dodge button or quick boost button to dodge, um, you are going to move a lot further and more quickly with reverse joint legs. So I highly recommend grabbing these guys as well just because they're going to make dodging a lot easier. And then the last thing to remember is that this game is not like Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Sekiro, any of these kinds of games. There are no iframes, which means if it looks like it hits you, it hits you. So in a lot of cases, just remember that you need to dodge earlier than you would normally in, say, a Souls game. Because you need to physically move your mech out of the way of the attack. So it's a bit of a different logic and takes a bit of getting used to. But uh, I think once you make those sorts of adjustments, this boss is kind of easy and in the bag. Uh, the rest of this video is just going to be footage of me uh, beating this boss and then footage of me coming back to fight this boss again on New Game Plus with a better, even more optimized energy setup, uh, which I'll also have the build code as well. Okay, thanks so much for watching the video and uh, stay tuned for more PvP and PvE content very soon. See ya. Yes, get f you trash. You're garbage. You're garbage. Spam missiles. Missiles. Spam your missiles. Uh, uh. Look, I'm spending twenty-five thousand missiles. Trash. Trash. Good job, six two one. Mountaeus. You'll have to break it.
of pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Ooh, that was pretty good. The waves are intensifying. Raven, get clear. Oof. AP at 50%. Wow, this boss is so much easier with hardlock. This game is so easy when you use hard lock. Holy crap, dude. That wasn't even hard. It's silent. Beep bum 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 beep bum beep bum bum.